I had a pretty toxic history. Um, like a lot of people, there were drugs and alcohol as a part of my past. It's, it's really, uh, I don't know, it's really a difficult place to be because you're just so lost. You're just in so much darkness that you don't really understand that there's something better for you. I was in Oklahoma in the Bible Belt, so it was probably inevitable. I can just see now that God moved me there on purpose. I was working in a little convenience store. A lady used to come to my store and she was a pastor's wife. And she would bring me these little Avon magazines and um, talk to me about church and talk to me about the Lord. My heart was starting to get really moved towards, towards what she was offering, what she was talking about, but I was afraid. And so it came to be that I would just run and hide when she would come into my store until finally it just was really difficult, really dark, that um, I ended up calling her and asking her if I could come and visit her little church. I did, and, but I plotted and planned every time I went. I just knew that I was not gonna respond to the call of God. I, you know, we would be invited up to the altar in Oklahoma. They're very serious about the altar, and so every time before I would go, I would say, I'm not going up to that altar until one day I finally did, I responded. From that moment, I could just feel God start to plan my life and pursue my heart. What that means to me is that I could feel and see that He loved me and that it was a, an unconditional love. And people say that all the time, you know, God's love is unconditional, God is love, but it's really real and it's very tangible and it's very intimate and it's very personal. And so I could see him moving me towards himself. His arms were so open for me, and he saw me where I was in very dirty and disorganized and quite chaotic, but he still was really crazy about me. I have been a Christian actually for uh, 23 years. Monday the 16th was my birthday in the Lord. But I spent a lot of the last many years, 23 years, it took me like 12 years to understand that I don't have to do anything. I spent a lot of time striving, trying to earn grace, trying to earn love from Him, not recognizing that He just, because He is love, He just has it for us. He doesn't require anything from us. You know, we just get to rest in His tangible love. He's not a taskmaster, He's not, someone that requires a checklist of doing this and doing that. But you find that when you fall for him, when you fall in love with him, you want to. You want to be obedient. You want to know more about him. You want to pursue him in his word. You want to sit with him and be present with him. Thank God that, that he does sit with sinners, that he does dine with sinners, that he does pursue us in our unrighteousness and brings us to a place of of better, of a place of love. He's just a dynamic and real and true God. I think about how He pursues us with His Word, how He speaks to us from His very heart. I'm mad for Him. I'm crazy about Him.